Hi guys, it's uh, Marcus here. I wanted to show you a very simple example, basically a one-button solution to deploy an application to IoTF and send some, collect some data and send some comments. Um, so here's the scenario. So we basically have an HTML application which simulates kind of a phone. It basically has accelerometer and location data. We publish this to the cloud into our IOTF uh, dashboard in Bluemix. And then we're gonna use node red, take some of the information and shoot some information back uh, as a command to change the color of our application. So here are the steps. So we're going to download the code as basically one button and then we're going to try this uh, application out. So I created a, a, a sign up for Bluemix so you can sign up yourself. So I just created a new uh, space. So here's the URL for IoT HTML phone. So I modified this uh, standard application a little bit to receive also uh, IoT messages. So we can just click the button here, which then should automatically deploy this application to our Bluemix. And we have to select the right space. So I call it recording. Make a uh, give it a simple name so you can actually use it also on your phone. So I'm just going to call it phone one. Five. So now this is going to create a project in Bluemix, copy the repository from GitHub to uh, Bluemix, and then uh, starts the application. It also will create the dependent services. So we need IOTF and we need a database. So that should be all uh, being created in our space. Yeah, so let's go back. So we already see some stuff happening here. So here's a cloud and database, which uh, we use to just store some credentials. And here's our IOTF service he's deploying. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we have uh, those dependent services, and you can see they're not bound yet. So it will now deploy our application. Up. So we can test our app. So here's our application. So I call this desktop. So it basically takes, you know, some movement data, accelerometer data, which we don't have, uh, and shoots these messages. Here's our message to IOTF. So we can actually check this out if we go to the service here, which is our Internet of Things service. So we see here's one device connected. The type is IoT phone. Here are the devices. So this is the desktop, the name I typed in. And we should see here the messages. So here we see there's an event, sensor data, and format. If we click on here, we see these messages. And we see them also, basically, these are from our phone. So one trick here to get some data is if you use Chrome, you can use the developer mode, and you can use this simulation device here in the developer console to change the movement data. And we should see this then also happening here. See, you see the, we get some of the accelerator data. Okay, so let's go back here. So here's our setup. So we have an application and we have these two services. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna these are the messages. We're gonna deploy Node Red 
like a boilerplate and add our IOTF service to this. And then we're going to capture some of the data and shoot a comment to our application to change the color. So let's go here. So we go to the color log. Look for node red. Again, it's very similar. Just want to make sure you give it a, a name. So I call it phone 555 node red. Uh, make sure it's in the right space. Yep. Okay, we create it. And if we go to our Internet of Things cloud, we should see there should be another device for us, iPhone, shooting messages. Let's see how our deployment of Node Red is happening. So we see here's our node red being started. Okay, here's our application. So we're going to start our node red flow editor. <coughs> so there's nothing here. So what we're going to do is we basically connect node red now to our IoT and we can just say oh there's no blue mix service to go back actually forgot so we need to add to our node red instance so if I go back here click on our node red thing and we need to add IOTF here so we need to add this service Okay, so now our node red application is started. So now we should have Lumix service here. We're going to go for all events and all devices. Say OK. So we can take this little debug icon here. And we click connect them. And we click deploy. And here we see our messages coming in from our phone. So if I do this here, we should see these, these, these numbers being changed. So now we have our messages coming in. So what we can do very simply, we can use them as a trigger. So what we're going to do is function. I'm just going to use this delay thing. And we need an output. So this is our output. So the first thing we're going to do is we just connect this to here. Uh, we delay. We basically just uh, limit this to uh, 30 messages. And we're going to drop the messages just reuse this as a tr trigger here. So then we connect this here. And what we need to do here is we need to actually, what I want to do is I want to change the color. So there is a, there's a message here. So we basically create a, a new message, message, a new JSON message. So I just paste this in here, create QTT to create message, new message, message, okay, so, and then we're going to shoot this message here, so now we can say, okay, we're going to do this by a blue mix service, or what we're going to say, it's a command, and um, to which device type, IoT, phone, which are 
uh, with our device types here. So we have IoT phone and we have two devices, desktop and and um, iPhone. Uh, let's create an, another one here. Uh, desktop. Okay, so both should shoot messages in here. You can tell by the icon. So let's go back. So we're gonna say desktop. I want to shoot. I want to change the color on my desktop. Command. We're gonna just call it hello. Format is JSON. And payload. I think we can leave this empty, but he doesn't like it, so we're just gonna copy this here. So we're going to deploy this and uh, we're going to switch this guy off. So what we're going to do is we want to see now the messages which we shoot to the phone one more time. We shoot to the device. So if we go here, so we should see here this message which goes now which we should send to our device so if i go here we should see <coughs> here our application receives the messages and you can tell it's changing the color here so we this little function i have changes the color so here it's basically a little math random math function and here's the message we sent so instead of action, let's say 33, deploy this, then we should see here action 33. So, so now this application sends messages and can receive messages. So that's basically wanted to show. And then you can massage um, or build event types or event application within Node-RED. Okay, let's go back to the PowerPoint real quick. So, so the key was we we had to add the service to Node Red. Then in Node Red we could uh, do something with the events. I just use the same events as a trigger, and I send a command MQTT message back to our application, which then changes the form. Okay. Hopefully this is helpful. Let me know if you have any questions and uh, um, yeah, send me a tweet or email. Thank you.